Hi guys, this is Ingrid July. I wanted to do a video today on how to be happy all of the time. Well, I guess you can't be happy all the time, but you can strive to be happy most of the time. That is my goal. And I don't think there's anybody out there that can say they don't wanna be happy. So, I strive every single day to do everything I possibly can to stay happy every day. Of course, some things naturally make us happy, but not all the time. As you know, bumps come up, but we can still try to be happy regardless. Okay, so naturally, you know, things like um, making a lot of money, going on vacations, having things go your way, those things naturally make us happy. Of course, that's not always long-term happiness. You know, true happiness is peace in your heart and peace with yourself and loving yourself. Um, oh, there's a little cute doggy outside. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, I'm talking about like those sort of things that like, you know, come up during the day, um, unexpectedly crappy things that come up. Um, you know, the other day my, I was cleaning up my house and I had a cup of water by my laptop and I knocked it down and it fell on my laptop and my keyboards. And yeah, I was like, oh, crap. And, uh, and um, <clears throat> mind you, I was, I'm on a mini vacation right now. I have to go back to work on Wednesday. It was like four days that I have off. <clears throat> so I was trying to get all my chores done and so that I can actually enjoy the rest of the little vacation that I had. Um, and a little bit later that day, um, the dog, like, and normally she doesn't really do this, but she pooped in the house. Also, so as I'm trying to get all this chores done to try to get them out of the way, more things are happening. Um, and I mean, I slowly started realizing that I was getting pissed and I was like already starting to think, you know, oh, this day is going to be crappy now, you know, it's wasted day and um, you know, it's like as soon as these these negative bad things that happen, you know, immediately our reaction is to just be like, you know, just get, you know, angry, not happy or pissed or whatever. And if we allow it to, it could ruin the rest of our day, the rest of our night. But if you realize you're getting that way, you take time to just stop and just turn your mind thinking around, you know. Um, I was thinking, okay, well, what can I do to try to help my laptop make sure that it's not... Sorry, the music was a little loud. That it's not going to be ruined. All I can do is do my best to try to save it. It may or may not be saved but I don't know if it's gonna be a total loss. So I took some um, air, an air can and blew it in there and wiped it and put it upside down um, and just, you know, decided not to use it for two days and turn it off um, and just say a prayer over it. <laughs> um, and actually I just turned it on today and it's working. So yay, you know, it's not ruined. And if I would have been really pissed about that the whole rest of the time, I would have been getting pissed for nothing, you know? Um, the poop was able to be cleaned up. Um, I wound up throwing out one of my rugs anyway because of it. Um, just I just was so dumb with rugs. I like floors. They're much easier to clean. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I was able to clean that up, you know, clean the floor. Everything's clean. <clears throat> and I just started counting my blessings, you know, realizing like, well, what if I was working and I had to deal with all this stuff? That would have even been worse. 
I at least had that free time to take care of that stuff. And even though I didn't have my laptop, I have a cell phone. I could go on my cell phone and I could use Facebook and YouTube and, you know, Instagram, you know, and, and use that. I, I, I was able to use that. So, you know, I momentarily was getting pissed, but then stopped myself and realized it's not that. So, you know, those are just some examples of like real life stuff that happened to me. You know, I know there's so many things out there that can happen and some things can be even bigger, you know. Um, but what I'm trying to relay here is it's all in how we think. It's all in our attitude, you know. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, where you can always be happy all the time. And it's good to feel your emotions, you know, but don't, don't ruin, or I should say, don't waste precious time when things happen that you can turn it around and, you know, make the best of it and not let it steal your joy and your happiness in your life, you know? Um, usually there are so many worse things that could happen than our day-to-day -day things that happen. And um, if you're aware of how you can get and in the moment, take a deep breath, <laughs> you know, evaluate, look at the whole big picture and, you know, turn it around. Um, I wound up enjoying the rest of the day. I went to the beach, you know, um, not for the whole day, you know, but for a little while, you know, stuck my feet in the water, walked in the sand, looked up at the sunshine, um, you know, went and got a delicious um, Asia a bowl. <laughs> I still can't say that name right. Anyways, it's one of these really delicious, healthy, uh, like fruit bowls. You probably know what it is, but you know, um, just really enjoyed the rest of the day and things wind up turning out fine, you know? So if you make a conscious effort into just not letting things get to you, you'll realize that you can enjoy your life a lot better, you know? And that's, that's what we all wanna do, right? We wanna enjoy our life and be happy. You know, <clears throat> I see people getting, um, another big one is people getting angry in traffic, you know? Um, yeah, it's, I guess depending on where you live, I don't know, but <clears throat> here in um, Florida, there's, there's a lot of crazy drivers out there. There's a lot of rude drivers out there. Um, and you know, I probably could say pretty much every time I go in the car, there's some sort of craziness out there. Um, and you know what? I would say 98, 99% of the time, I do not let it get to me. Um, not gonna say I've never let it get to me. Um, or I've gotten a little pissed or whatever, but most of the time I'm like, you know what? Even if it's my right of way, I just let them go if they're if they're trying to go. So go ahead, you know, go ahead, go. You know what? I'm you got issues, those are your issues. I'm not gonna have those issues. I'm not gonna have my day ruined, my joy stolen, you know? I have I'm I'm thankful I have a vehicle that I could drive in a car, that I have transportation, you know, um, that I'm not in an accident, um, that I can just drive wherever I want, you know? So I'm gonna be as courteous I can, as I can, and not all the time, but you know, I feel like I do have courteous drivers to me sometimes. And um, I always say, you know, thank you, you know, through the window <laughs> as much as I can to let them know that I appreciate it since it's not like that all the time. Um, and it just like makes you feel better when you don't let people, you know, get to you and that you were the courteous one. You know, after it's all said and done, you feel better about doing, being the better person and it doesn't steal your joy. So, you know, I can give a whole bunch of examples of things that can 
seal your joy and your happiness. And actually, you know, look at it like that. Don't let things or people or circumstances steal or rob you of your joy and your happiness in life, you know? Um, yeah, sometimes we get sad and, you know, um, I definitely have times, recent times, um, I've gone through stuff. Um, recently, you know, I'm still healing from a breakup. Um, I had to mail my ex-boyfriend all his stuff and, you know, it was a difficult situation and um, I know I'm gonna be fine. You know, I know I am fine, but is my heart still hurting from that? And, you know, yes, it is, but I know I'm gonna be getting better. And, um, you know, if I feel the need to cry, I take some time out and I feel my emotions and I cry, um, I sort through it, you know, say some prayers. Um, but then I'm done, you know, then I get over it. And then I realize, you know, reasons why things happen the way they did. Everything happens for a good reason. And it's gonna take us to a higher and better place. And there's so much to be thankful for. You know, I count my blessings and there are so many blessings. I don't want, you know, if you've, feel that you've gone through a lot of stuff in your life, which you probably have, right? Maybe more times than you can count. Why would you want to let any other things, especially smaller things, you know, day-to-day -day things, get you down, you know? Be as happy and joyful as you possibly can, because you deserve that, you know? So basically, you know, we have our feelings and our emotions, yes. We should acknowledge them, we should feel them. But any of them that are not good for us, we shouldn't live in those, you know? We want to live more in joy and live more in happiness. So, always try to look on the bright side. Always try to find the blessings in your every days because there are so many. Um, I know God has truly opened my eyes more and more over the years. You know, if you've experienced that, you know what I mean. If you haven't, I encourage you to. <laughs> um, it just comes with a relationship with God and um, having faith and hope. Um, but also just doing things in life to bring more goodness to your life. Working on it every day. Loving yourself. Just appreciate what you do have and don't look at what you don't have. Appreciate and look at what is going right, not what is going wrong. Because things change all the time, you know? And just keep a hopeful spirit you know it's much better living that way and it's much healthier <sighs> so falling then I would catch you <laughs> oh that was just a little cute song called the way I am um, I have some singing videos up too, that I'm going to be putting more up eventually in time. Hope you enjoy those. Let me know if you have. So just to close out here, um, I hope that I have encouraged somebody here. Well, more than just one person, because <laughs> that's the goal here. Um, I'm here to help you live, help live a happy, healthy life in any which way. Um, you know, whatever, whatever comes to my heart for the next video is what I do. I'm totally genuine here, vulnerable, <laughs> you know, just putting my heart out and, um, just to try to help encourage you. Um, and honestly, it encourages me too, you know, um, 
we're all a work in progress you know so anyway as I always say please take care of you because there's only one of you you know take care of you because there's only one of you so till my next video um, please click like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't I would really appreciate it and I will regardless um, I'll see whoever in my next video thank you bye um.